In the context of the news about the return of the Opel Corsa to the Ukrainian market, it is curious to recall how its predecessor, the once popular Opel Corsa D, feels on the secondary market. An inveterate city dweller, sometimes an esthete, the little Corsa D was more popular in Ukraine than its direct competitors. German with a pedigree broke a number of past stereotypes about the reliability of the brand. In fact, Corsa went on a variety of modifications, not all of which are worthy of attention in the secondary market. So, for example, we do not advise you to mess with a robotic gearbox, it seemed to be faulty, even when it was new. It makes no sense to pay attention to a three-cylinder gasoline engine, 60, and after 2010 65 horsepower, unable to budge even a stool and consuming an abyss of gasoline. You should also stay away from turbo engines. The car is inexpensive, and replacing the turbine at the turn of 150 to 200,000 kilometers will double the cost of the car. And if you go between the indicated trickles, at the same time ignoring the diesel versions, 1.3 and 1.7, that were not officially offered with us for the already mentioned and other reasons, it is very possible to live with Corsa in peace and harmony. 4-cylinder gasoline engines, 1.2 and 1.4, with a timing chain drive can not particularly disturb up to 200,000 km. There are whims. The most common are leaks in crankshaft oil seals, gaskets and a temperature sensor. The ignition module is also considered problematic, the replacement of which on turbo versions can require up to $450. But gasoline aspirated engines are not involved in a clear crime. Of the transmissions, you can safely choose between AKP4 and MCP. Both are quite reliable and, with regular lubricant changes, they can easily run more than 200,000 km. Although the machine does not shine with special agility, red, if the car was not in an accident, begins to manifest itself after the first five to six years. On the bottom or under the hood above the engine, where moisture accumulates with clogged drainage channels. But iron is resistant, it rusts reluctantly, while the paintwork strives to come off, sometimes in pieces. There are also a number of difficult places, unsuccessful joints, where pastes almost always form. For example, the joints of the rear fenders and bumper. The salon is surprisingly solid, although 100,000 km will probably peel off the steering wheel and destroy the leatherette sidewall and driver's seat filler. The machine is still for elegant ladies. Extraneous sounds appear over time, often they are emitted by the stove fan, this is a weak point. The suspension is praised. But the other half of the Kursavods complain about abundant replacements, as they say, in a circle already at 70 to 100,000 km, or even earlier. Wheel bearings are weak walkers, as are stabilizer struts, bushings, they run 15 to 30,000 km. Shock absorbers, thrust bearings and tie rods with tips are hardly twice as wide. In a word, you need to drive carefully, although the steering rack will knock to 150,000 in any case. But where rust willingly settles, it's on the calipers. This is where a lot of preventive maintenance is needed. And if you consider that the Corsa also has ailments in the electrical part, the heating filaments of the expensive rear window are on fire, the generator, the wiper motor and the air conditioner are naughty, the purchase option may not seem very attractive. Do not rush to conclusions. For the most part, Corsa is honestly working off their little money. Plus, it's not hard to sell. MCPs suffer from wear of the switching unit, where backlash accumulates. A replacement can be a mechanism from day wound exia. The robot Easytronic added to breakdowns control system malfunctions and a low resource of actuators, not exceeding 60,000 km, repair $800. Automatic transmission AF13, with proper use, goes up to 300,000 km. There are problems with the wear of the forward drum, gas turbine linings and hydraulic pollution. Repair of atmospheric four-cylinder engines 1.2. 1.4 and 1.6 is not associated with high costs. There is a common ailment, poor tightness of the pressure sensor wire. The oil knocked out through it, getting on the electrician, leads to serious problems. Another misfortune is a breakdown of the mass airflow sensor. Changing it is simple, but the sensor costs more than $150. Diagnosis is simple, the engine starts with difficulty and accelerates the car poorly. Reviews are drastically different. But the main troubles are unanimously recognized as weak steering tips and stabilizer struts. But the most recurring misfortune is a malfunction of the electric steering rack. Its worn oil seal and sensor cannot be replaced, the problem can only be solved by replacing the unit as a whole. Complements the bleak picture of the wear of the bushings, causing a knock on the steering wheel. Lack of brakes, calipers turn sour from rust. Due to the unimportant fit of the gaps between the body panels, abrasions and pockets of corrosion occur hood edge, tailgate, arches and fenders at risk. 
door seals do not last long either, under which bed sores also appear. The protective plastic of the front optics becomes cloudy quickly. The bottom and hidden seams do not resist corrosion, which likes to settle in the cavities under the windshield when the drainage is clogged. There are many problems. Most often, the air conditioning system sins with the failure of the compressor or control unit, starting from a run of 50,000 km. The front and rear wiper motors need to be replaced. The heating elements of the front seats and, especially, the rear window are burning. Often the voltage regulators fly out, which leads to an expensive failure of the HCM unit.